How long does a short sale actually take? Well, we're going to go through that in this video. Hi, I'm Jeff Friedman from GardenStateHomeBuyers.com. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly the short sale process and how it works. I don't know about you, but you've probably heard horror stories from people telling you about short sales and how horrific they are, how long they are, and how involved they are. They really don't feel that short, do they? These are the three stages of the short sale process. Here we go. The first thing that we need to do is get an offer and complete the package and send it off to the lender. The lender will not start a short sale unless the short sale package is complete with everything they need, all the documentation, along with an offer. The initial price on the offer is not as important as getting the process started, and here's why. Once we send in the complete package, that will trigger the lender to order what's called the BPO, a Broker's Price Opinion, which will, which will give the bank an estimated value of the property as it exists now. The bank will determine what the house is worth based upon what they determine from the BPO, not what you bought it for, not what you owe, not what anyone else says the house is worth. The second stage of the short sale process is negotiations. The bank will respond to the, to the offer made after the valuation is completed. Depending on the amount of liens and the amount of the offer, the negotiations can take anywhere from several weeks to several months. This is where most people get confused. They forget who actually owns the property. You are the only party in this transaction that have the ability to reject, accept, or negotiate any offers on this property. Most people don't realize that the bank only owns the lien on the property, you still own the house. It's in the second stage where you, the borrower, will understand the terms of negotiation during the short sale. The third phase of the short sale process is when we finish negotiation with your lender and you accept the terms of the negotiation. Once you accept the terms of the short sale approval, the bank will spit out an approval letter which will spell out all the terms of the short sale. Once the approval is issued by the lender, typically you'll have 30 days to close. Once the short sale approval letter is received, it's very advisable for you to review that with your attorney. If you agree with the short sale approval letter and you agree with the terms, this becomes a normal close for you. Conducting a short sale is the best way to rid yourself of the property and the mortgage debt so you're able to move on with your life. If you have additional questions or would like more help, click the link below. My name is Jeff Friedman from Garden State Home Buyers. Thank you.